right, welcome back. OK, so in this video, we're going to finish up the tool here. And we're going to have it so that it creates a bunch of just default scenes for us. And the reason why I started doing this is because I noticed that anytime I started a, a new Unity project, I always created uh, these three core scenes, the main scene, a front end scene, and a loader. And there are always, I just noticed that over time that there was a pattern. And so I just was tired of going and making them you know, by hand. I just wanted them ready to go. Um, it's all those little things. They all add up. So let's go and uh, look at and see how to do that. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to include a new namespace. So we need the Unity Editor uh, dot scene management namespace. This will allow us to create new scenes uh, while in the editor. So uh, what I want to do now is create a new method down here called uh, create scene. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass in a path, so string a path, and um, we can do a name too. Definitely, you don't need to. We'll just see what we come up with here. So uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to say, um, we want to store the current scenes because we're, we're also going to have to save it once we create it. So I'm going to create a new uh, scene. And in order to do that, I do need to use the Unity Engine dot scene management namespace as well. So I can get access to that. So I want a new scene and we'll call this cur scene for current current scene. And this will be the editor uh, scene manager dot create scene. And you can see that we can give it a, a scene name. Oops. I wanted to roll through those. Oh, and we just need to give it a scene name. So um, I thought there were more overrides there, but there, there aren't. So uh, we, we just want to give it a path uh, plus the uh, scene name. Uh, name, like so. And then all we really need to do at that point, is once it's created, we're going to say editor scene manager dot save scene. And it wants the current scene and the destination path. So let's actually just, let's not do the path here. That's just the name, if I remember correctly. And we're going to want to save it as a copy because we don't want to just launch it right away. So uh, I'm going to give it the current scene. And then we want the path, so a path. And then we'll say true to save it as a copy. Awesome. So with that done, we need to actually create the scene. So I'll just give myself a little info here. And what I want to do now is um, create a new directory info and we'll call this scene info. And we'll say directory dot create directory and we'll give it the root path that we've been using. So the root path uh, plus scenes. So then we're going to say if scene info dot exists, then we're going to create a scene three times. So I want to give it the root path plus the scenes folder. And then I want to give it a name. So uh, this is going to, be, going to be called, and I do like to use the game name. So I'm going to say game name plus main. How about, so we'll say game name plus an underscore main, like so. We'll do that three more times. We'll say front end and, uh, or startup. That's the, what I usually call it, startup. So that's usually like that initial splash screen with, with all the company logos and, you know, the initial uh, screen where you say start. And again, your project might be different. Uh, I just have it in here as a default. All right, so that should work. Uh, let's go and test this out. So I'm going to get rid of the previous version here. All right, and let's just go and create it again. And we did get 
a uh, an error here, and that's telling us that we can only use the editor scene manager. Didn't I use that? Editor scene manager, create scene. Oh, it needs, sorry, sorry about that. It needs new scene. There we go. Let's save that and let's go test this out again. And it's complaining about something. And that must have other overrides. So let's go check that out. That's what it is. So new scene setup. Uh, so this is pretty interesting. You can actually tell it to add the default game object. So your main camera, your directional light, or you can just set up an empty scene. It's really up to you. So I'm just going to add the defaults and we'll say new scene mode. I'm just going to do a single because I don't need it to be additive right now. All right. So that should work. Try this one more time, huh? There we go. And I do need to put the name at the end here. So it's going to be up path plus forward slash a name. There we go. So let's go and test this out now. Okay. And we actually need to add the extension to it. So that means that we come in here and we just add dot unity. There we go. Sorry, that was so difficult. I've, you know, now that I don't do it very often um, uh, manually, I just, I just use this tool. I've kind of forgotten the, all the specifics about the particular function there that we're using. So let's try this out again. There we go. And now we have all of our scenes all set up. So now you can go and just click through them all. And they have the, the defaults in there. Cool. So if you were to set this to empty, it wouldn't have anything in it. So it's really up to you. And, uh, you know, if you want to continue, you know, making this a little bit more of a robust tool, you can go and add some flags so that you can choose a bunch of different setup types. Maybe you want to set this up for VR or a mobile game. And those particular projects have specific settings that you notice that you've always started out with. So anyways, that is the project setup tool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more of these types of little utilities. Uh, they're fun to make and they speed up your, your process. So I, as always, uh, this source code is going to be available up on Gumroad and on anypixel.com here shortly. So let me know what you think, and thanks so much.